the singing of tonight's national anthem. Put me on top, city on lock, they like when he gon' drop. We ain't had enough, speaking down, but they know who coming up. And I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far from me. Never caught off that one too far from me. Never caught off that one day. Never caught off that one day. But I'm still on my way. Welcome to a special edition of Sunday Night Basketball here on 2K Sports with Hall of Famer Grant Hill and Brent Berry. This is Brian Anderson. We'll be hearing from Ali LaForce from the sideline. Now let's check out the Western Conference standings and see how they look here in December. You look at the Lakers. They've started strong this year, holding the second place spot. And of course the Thunder, a couple spots down. When I look at the Lakers, you have to really give it to them. I mean, they are backing up all the preseason hype. They've been outstanding early. And don't count on that coming to an end anytime soon. The talent level of this squad is off the charts. And with the momentum they're gathering here early in the year, it could steamroll through the season. And the Lakers starting five. LeBron and Vanderbilt are the three and four. Davis out there with Austin Rivers. And it's Davis in at the center position. Now here's Holmgren. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Over Vanderbilt. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Vanderbilt pulls it in. And here's Davis. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's a three-point game. Last game matched up with the Grizzlies. A tough loss there. It's just so difficult to win when you waste as many chances at the line as they did. Yeah, it's not always just about free throw shooting, but it can be a large factor and disrupt your confidence. A lot of power on display in the front court tonight in our matchup. Brent should be exciting to watch. Yeah, it may not be about the outside shooting in this one either. These teams like to involve that front court and catch the defense while they're napping. Now here's Davis coming off a 37-point game against Memphis. As passing another high point in that game, he made sure it wasn't all about him. He wanted to get his teammates involved. Boy, the offensive instincts of Shea Gilgis Alexander are really something to see. Yeah, an incredible instinctual score and just a knack for making things happen offensively. Whether that means him scoring or setting up others, this guy is an elite offensive player. Yeah, these strides that SGA has made in the past couple seasons has a lot to do with the kids' work ethic. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Outside, Williams. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. From the high post, and he hits the jumper for two. Davis has got five points. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Gilgis Alexander, no good. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Rivers, good. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Giddy passes to Holmgren. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Good. What a move by Gildas Alexander, using his agility to beat that contact. The Lakers have gone four of five so far, looking sharp. There's Davis with the three. And a 
Another three for the Lakers. Outstanding long-range shooting here early. They already have hit multiple shots from downtown. Here's Giddy. Rebound, the Lakers. Last time, they met in Los Angeles. And they came away with the win because everyone contributed. The starters, the bench, they all played as a unit. The second unit came in last game and just played lights out basketball. I'm sure they'd like to do that again. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. And Davis with the block. Look at the defense on display there from Davis. Lines up the shot and with perfect timing, swats it away. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Gilgis Alexander from outside. Vanderbilt pulls it in. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Here's James. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Lakers. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. And you look at the Thunder. Talk about a team that's drafted well. It's hard to see out the window in Oklahoma City with how much they've stockpiled their picks in that front office. It's about making good use of them, B.A. When are they going to plant a flag in the ground that these are our guys moving forward? They have some young studs. I'm curious about when that time is. All right, let's look back on the last month now and see which rookie players were leading the way in assists per game. the Thunder in possession here. They trail by 16. This game coming after a loss versus the Raptors. And games like that are backbreakers. To be so close to victory but let it slip away is frustrating. Now you want to respond in kind, but that last game, it was an effort that most of the time can get you a win. You ran into a tough opponent who was playing at a high level. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Left side, Gilgis Alexander. Tries a 10-footer. Off the left rim and out. Something's off about him this quarter. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-ups, so maybe just a step too far. Now here's Wiggins. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Clock at six. Goes up on the wing. Rebound, the Lakers. Davis has got four rebounds now. Gilgis Alexander against Davis. Launches a three. The rebound by Wiggins. And Wiggins has got the ball here for Oklahoma City. It's a 14-point game. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. And Davis picks him up defensively. And that one's good. Giddy. And a nice stroke. That's coming along for Josh Giddy. For Los Angeles, they've got 8 of 13 attempts to go. On the wing, Davis. Gilgis Alexander defending. Davis, the pass to Vanderbilt. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Vanderbilt's got his second basket on the night. Gilgis Alexander against Davis. Gilgis Alexander feeling it out a bit. Pass to Holmgren. Williams up top. Now here's Giddy. Five on the clock. Oh, the Thunder, another three. Giddy's got three of his four shots to fall, hitting 75%. Pulls up. Davis misses. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. And it's Holmgren missing. Now, shots like that drive coaches batty. I'll be shocked if he attempts that shot again. 
And James puts up a deep three. That three off target. Had some space there after the pump fake. Wiggins for three. It's rebounded by Rivers. The Lakers shooting an excellent 56% in this quarter. Puts up a deep three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Williams finds Gilgis Alexander. Back to Williams. Pass to Holmgren. The shake. And that's two points on the layup. And this is where Holmgren is such a scoring threat. His size can make interior shots easier to find. Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. City going with almost an entire new group here. Pokashevsky's checked in for Holmgren. Davis against Gilgis Alexander. Throws it up high. James with a steal. Chet Holmgren out there with Kendrick Williams. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Wiggins in at the three. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. So good at reading the defenses and James anticipating when they overcommitted. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Joe. Outside, Williams. The Thunder with another miss. Los Angeles has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. There's Davis with the three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Davis has got five points now in the quarter. Picking up right where he left off. Hit two triples in the first quarter. Now he gets another to fall. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Here's Joe. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Raptors in Toronto. Just four to shoot. With his first shot attempt. Davis for the rebound. Los Angeles has got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. From the arc, Williams grabs the board. Williams has got four rebounds now. Well, Grant, it's been fun to watch Kenrich Williams develop his tools and come into his own a little bit. The NBA much improved since coming into the league. Williams has the ability to score outside the arc and inside the perimeter. Williams has checked in for Oklahoma City. Giddy comes in for Joe. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Rivers comes in for Vincent. Wiggins outside. Back to Williams. From the low block. The Thunder with another miss. Los Angeles has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. Davis, the pass to Rivers. Off the mark there with a three. For Oklahoma City, they've got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. James brings the double team from deep. Giddy drills it from deep. Giddy's got 11 points. They're making a few more threes this quarter, trying to cut into that deficit. Davis from long range. Second shot opportunity. Over Giddy. Davis misses. The Thunder have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Now Holmgren. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Checked by Davis. And he gets it to go. He's got 12. Excellent shot from SGA. I like seeing them shake loose in the mid-range. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. And the Lakers shooting around 29% in quarter number two. Gilgis Alexander against Davis. Buries it from three. Davis has got 20. 
And now he's dropped two three-pointers in each quarter. Outside Giddy. Pass to Wiggins. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Four on the clock. From outside the arc. The Lakers with a rebound. Vanderbilt's got five rebounds in the game. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. That one goes in. Great effort from AD, just getting himself in the position and then grab the O rebound. Giddy with it. Coming off a 16-point game against the Raptors in Toronto. And he may have posed even more problems with his passing. They had to worry about him as a scorer and a distributor. The three is up. James with the rebound. Man, that's his shot. But <laughs> maybe he was too wide open. Rivers. That one rolls around and rims out. Kind of rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field. To still have the lead shows how resilient they are as a complete team. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Davis misses. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They trail by 18. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. LeBron James is sustaining greatness into his late 30s. He said, quote, as long as my mind stays in it, I can play at this level for a while. My body is going to be okay because I always make sure to take care of it and I put the work in. And Brian, call it mind over matter or the fountain of youth, whatever you want to call it, LeBron's work continues to pay off. Indeed, no question about that. Thank you, Allie. Joe's checked in for Gilgis Alexander. And the Lakers also making a change. Hachimura's checked in for James. Davis against Giddy fires from deep and Davis is good for three Davis has got 11 points in the quarter oh five threes this half the D can't contain this guy Giddy passes to Williams up top Holmgren pass to Giddy here's Joe Wiggins for three Hachimura with a rebound Here's Davis. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Davis has got 25 points in the game. His shooting has been fantastic, and this team has leaned on him. Down low. That's good from Giddy on the assist from Williams. Williams has got five assists tonight. Fires away from way outside. Rivers' shot is off. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. Back to Williams. And he can't get that one. The Lakers shooting around 44%. Not bad. Here's Rivers. And the three off target. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. From deep, Giddy. Rebound, the Lakers. Vanderbilt's got six rebounds here tonight. Risky strategy here. I mean, shifting their offense more to the outside? Mm, we'll see. Davis, that's good. Pretty easy right now. Clear out, give them some space, let them get to work. And for the Thunder, they're shooting 35% in the second so far. Davis against Giddy. Takes a 13-footer. Ooh, making his presence felt here. He's now six for nine in this game. And Giddy, one of those guys who really can stuff the stat sheet. And Davis is good for three. Davis has got 30. Solid in the first. Fantastic here in the second. He was just waiting for the moment. Giddy into the lane. Shoots over Davis. Can't hit it from 12 feet. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Davis. Back to Davis. Six on the shot clock. There's the triple. And it's laid in by Davis. Davis has gotten his second bucket. AD's frame has filled out through the years. We've seen that. It enables him to 
take that kind of contact. Thirteen foul. Coming onto the floor for the Lakers. Number eighteen. Five ticks left in the first half. That one rolls around and rims out. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with plenty of breathing room. 23 points to end the quarter. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Hey folks, happy you joined us. The action tonight, a bit wild and a big deficit now for the Oklahoma City Thunder. If you look at their field goal percentage, that says it all. Just jacking up shots. They gotta stop. Time to go inside and make it count. Check this out. Check this out. You're gonna like this. I think they have an SLT shot. You know what that is? Uh, shot like treats. No, Shaq like threat. Oh, I was close. Yeah, someone who can get to the rim and get it done. Shaq like oh. All right, time to see how the Western comp. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. And with the surge in scoring around the league, Brent, what's the key to modern NBA defense? Great question, B.A. I mean, you have to have versatility. You have to have coaches that can get creative. And you got to have players who are wanting to buy in on the defensive end. You just cannot give great scorers in this league, has a ton of them, a steady diet, of shooting from three and you got to keep them guessing and so in the game for Los Angeles Vanderbilt at power forward with Davis in the middle Austin Rivers out there with Davis and it's James in at the three spot outside Giddy to the inside here's Holmgren he can't get it to go excellent D there from Davis you have to credit their effort I mean they've done an amazing job on the glass Rivers that one falls coming off Davis feed Rivers has gotten a second bucket on the night their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters from deep Gilgis Alexander the Thunder with another miss Los Angeles has gone two for two from deep here on the third four three knocks it down from distance Rivers has got nine Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Back to Holmgren. Pass to Giddy. Shot clock at six. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Lakers. And now a peek at some of the players competing for a spot in the dunk contest. All of them true dunk artists who can do some spectacular things in the air. And I can't wait to see what these guys have dreamed up this year. The level of athleticism and creativity that goes into this contest is what makes it so incredible to watch. And you look at Davis as the top vote getter, a good bet to be in this year's dunk contest. And with his hops, he might be the favorite in the contest. Everyone wants to see him compete. And there you have it. This year's dunk contest field looks incredible. We'll keep you up to date in the voting. That is always a highlight of All-Star Weekend. Watching guys just fly through the air. And I enjoy watching all of the guys on that list slam it home. And he sinks the 11-footer. He's got 17. Yes, finally one drops after the 0 of 3 start. And what's really impressive about Josh Giddy is his versatility. And it's such a young age, Brent. Yeah, Giddy at 6'8", B.A., I think it's awesome because his size allows his skills to be accelerated and magnified. He sees over the top of a lot of defenders, and he can out-quick them, not with his feet, but with the pass. And here's Holmgren. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. <laughs> and great awareness. Holmgren's so good at reading the movement of his teammates, a very heady passer for a big man. 
Now here's Davis. 37 points for him. With the floater. And yep, it's good. Davis has got 39. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The shot off that time. Excellent D there from Davis. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. now. Catching the lead pass at full speed, terrific anticipation, and the delivery on time, on target. Davis, the pass to Vanderbilt. Jacks up a three. They get it again. And there's two. Work on the glass, paying off that time. Davis has got six. Well, at that range, Davis is pretty much automatic. He's going to score it. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. Gilgis Alexander against James. Here's Holmgren. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got five assists in the game. Now Davis. Give him 39. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Williams finds Giddy. Back to Williams. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Williams has got his second basket of the night. Los Angeles has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Here's Davis. Good work defensively by Gilgis Alexander. Oh, Grant, you had to guard some of the greats in your career, including Jordan, Kobe, LeBron. Who was the toughest to cover? Well, for the record, I didn't really like guarding any of them, if I'm being honest. But no one, in my opinion, tops Michael Jordan. Of course, I had to guard Kobe the most, and he was very relentless, had no weaknesses. And, you know, I was in my late 30s on one ankle. But who's counting? And the Thunder making a change here. Williams is checked in, and the Lakers also making a change. Vincent's checked in. And Wiggins has got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Looking ahead, they've got the Mavericks coming to town for their next one. It'll be game number two in their five-game homestand. And that's number four. Death and Coach doesn't like the call at all. He's opting to use his challenge. He wants the officials to look at the replay. People were worried that this would slow the action down. But with so many close calls in every game, the NBA was smart to adopt this check. Previous play is under review. A coach is let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, he'll back them up and make the refs take another look. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And they've made their decision. The call will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he's still peeved. And let's take a moment to call out some of the top defenders in the rookie class. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. From deep, Gilgis Alexander hits a three-pointer. Gilgis Alexander's got 21 points in the game. Oh, that jumper's so pure. Gilgis Alexander with great confidence. Davis drives in. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Man, good whistle there. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. What a performance from beyond the arc in this game. They stuck to their guns, and it's paid off all game. And there's been another bonus to what's happened with them tonight, and that's the offensive rebounding. They're boxing out. They're getting up extra shots. That could be a difference maker in the result. That free throw, good from Davis.
Both shots good from the strike. The Thunder have gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Gilgis Alexander against Davis. Fires for three. And Gilgis Alexander missing. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Tuesday, they go back home and will be hosting the Orlando Magic. And then Friday, they'll take on Kyrie Irving and the Dallas Mavericks. And for that game time against out, San Antonio, out. that's a game where you'd be surprised to see them lose. They'd have to have a really off night for them to get upset there. Timeout called the Lakers. to look at some numbers for the last handful of seasons for LeBron James. And currently, he's in the zone. A tremendous feel for the game. His assist numbers these past five games look a lot different from the rest of the season. And by different, I mean better. Here's Giddy. 17 points in the game. Let's a floater go. And he sinks the layup. Giddy's got 19 points. And Giddy with the tough floater that time. Gilgis Alexander against Davis. And Davis slams it home. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Right side, Giddy. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. And Davis slams it home. Well, we've seen Davis expand his game. You can see it there with the playmaking. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Giddy. Giddy's got three assists tonight. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. And Davis gets double teamed. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. The G League is continuing to be a laboratory, if you will, for new rule changes that eventually make it to the NBA from the coach's challenge to take foul. Possibly up next, a target score for overtime instead of a running clock. It's been a popular change in the G League, and it eliminates multiple overtime games. Brian, it couldn't make the jump. I like it. It's worth a shot. Thanks, Allie. There's Davis with the three. The Thunder with the rebound. Gilgis Alexander's got four rebounds in the game. Giddy into the lane. Oh, he's looking good tonight. He's drilled 9 of 15 so far. He's done everything he can tonight, trying to keep this team competitive. Davis against Gilgis Alexander. Davis down low. Parker down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Pokashevsky's checked in for Oklahoma City. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Anthony, it was a great team victory tonight. What satisfied you most about this win? Oh, we just played hard. You know, we just played for each other. The ball was moving, wasn't sticking, and, you know, guys made the right plays. You know, and that's what we've been doing all night, all season, and, you know, I'm just glad we came out with the win. Selfless basketball is a beautiful thing, guys. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again.
And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. Now let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game.